what is going on guys today we're going to be doing a tutorial on this plugin called divinity mini games so this is a really unique mini game it's a much more customizable kit pvp so like kit pvp but where your players can pretty much create their own classes with spells so this is a premium plugin like i usually say guys i only try to do the really awesome premium plugins so today we're going to check out divinity mini game let's go ahead and get started so when you first join your server as a player in survival mode you'll have 100 levels as you see there now these are pretty much points that you can spend inside of gy like i said guys it's kit pvp that is customizable and pretty much your players can use spells in this kit pvp and each spell can be modified with a certain cost they have 100 points to spend which is each level so that's the cool part because each player can spend the points however way that they want to so other players will have their kits set up differently and it's just a really cool way of making things fair. But let's go ahead and open up the GUI with slash spells. So this is the GUI where you can create your spells for your kit for battling. Now there are six different types of spells. One is projectile, the other is self, so spell that is applied to your player. And then you have a sword, shield, beam, and then a burst. And all of these can be modified in their own way. So let me go ahead and show you beam. So this is pretty cool. Like I said, guys, each modification costs a certain point. So if you want to increase the range, then that costs three points. If you want to include slowness, that costs five. If you want to include a pull, which pulls actually pulls the target to you, then you can use that with three points. And then when you're all done, you can go ahead and finish. So to add one, you just left click. So I want to include pull. And then let's go with damage because we definitely want it to hurt a little bit. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And if you want to take away one, as you guys can see on the right, we have damage and pull at the bottom in green. So let's say we want to take away damage. Now it just says pull. But let's go ahead and add damage back to it. So there we go. That's all we really want. I don't want any knockback because that would defeat the purpose of pull. But yeah, so let's go ahead and finish that. And then there we go. So we get a rod right here that has the beam spell. So like I said guys, we're using the beam spell which is an instant ranged beam that applies to the player that we click it on. So since we have the pull and damage, you guys will see that I can pull Bobby to us and it will also damage him. So let's go ahead and right click. Bam, there we go. So he gets pulled to us and that's really good for PvP. So if we wanna quickly switch to like a sword or something, then we can go ahead and start using that against him. And then as you guys can see at the bottom, there's a cooldown with the little XP bar. So let's go ahead and pull him again. Bam, there we go. And then we can pull out our sword and start hitting him. Obviously, you guys can increase the range in which we can pull him in the modification inside the GUI. But yeah, that is that pretty freaking sweet. But let's go ahead and go back to the GUI with slash spells. And actually, before we do that, a useful command that you can use is slash points. And that will tell you how much points you have out of the max remaining. And yeah, so let's go back to slash spells. Now let's use projectile. This is probably one of my favorite ones. Let's click on that spell and then let's add some, some cool modifications. Let's go with fire, so left click. And then let's go with, let's go with knockback. So there we go, fire and knockback. Let's finish it up, cost 10 points. Now we have the projectile spell. I don't know how much range we have, but let's go ahead and test it out. Bam, there we go. And there's a little after burning effect for a little bit. And then there we go. So pretty cool feature right there. Let's go ahead and try another one with slash spells. And let's use burst. Burst is actually really cool as well. Let's go with knockback. Let's go with damage. And let's go ahead and finish that off as well. Bam, so it's a little burst think it'd be a little bit cooler with the fire effect to it so let's go ahead and edit it with slash edit let's go ahead and add ignite so there's a fire effect finish it off and bam there we go so now there's a little fire effect awesome all right so back in here let's go with i can't really show you guys shield because i only have myself online but let's go ahead and use sword so penetration is good if they have armor on them but they don't I don't think at least I didn't really pay attention to him but let's go with poison so that will poison him for a little bit and then let's go with I think that's good we'll just go ahead and save the rest of our points here we go we got a sword 
When we hit him, now he's poison. As you guys can see, awesome stuff. Let's go into spells again, and I'll show you quickly some of the shield modifications. So a really cool one is Thorny. So whenever you get hit, you will reflect 33% of damage when you block. So when you block with your shield, there's a couple more effects, which is durability to the shield, knockback, and then I can't really see what that one is. But yeah, so there we go, we got the shield now. If we were to block slash spells again, that will bring up the GUI. Let's test out self, I can show you guys some of the abilities. So in case you're burning, you can put out a fire by using the self spell. And then you can use an agility effect, which is 5 seconds of speed and jump boost. Launch, regeneration. So the self effects are all really, really cool. But yeah, let's go with, let's just add some of these. So there we go. As you guys can see, we had a little launch forward when we added the launch forward effect. And so let's say we want to save this little class and modifications. We like the way it is. We can use slash save and then give this class a name. So I'm just going to call it, uh, you can call it anything. I'm just going to call it test and hit enter. So there we go. And if you want to see all the saves you have, you just type slash saves. It's all in a GUI. And you can left click to select it, right click to delete. And then you can also modify your armor with slash armor. You can change regeneration, resilience, speed, slowness. So that as well could be used and spent points on. And if you want to get rid of one of the modification items that you have or one of the spells, then you do you hold the item in your hand and you type slash discard. Bam, there we go. We get our points back just like that. So players can use this strategically as possible and just use whatever advantage that they want from any of these spells and that's pretty much it for this plugin tutorial hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out